I think when I was first um, presented with one of the radial therapy masks, I'll be honest, first time I've ever seen one, and um, it kind of stops you in your tracks. So I think the first time you see one, it's quite. Uh, it's not, an, it's not immediately a nice object to look at when you hear the story of what the um, patients actually go through. Um, myself and Heather immediately came away from it thinking, right, we need to um, treat this with respect. And I somebody, this is something that's saved somebody's life. And um, I think both of us were um, taken aback by the sort of gravity of what it was we were going to produce. Um, you look at it immediately and think of it as being quite a, a almost scary object to look at, but this is a, like I say, it's a lifesaver. We should look at it as something, we, should, we need to turn it into something beautiful, really. Well, obviously, I'm more of a conceptual artist, so when I was just touching the mask, it, it gave a really emotional feeling because that was someone's face. It was, it was personal to them, and I thought, that must have been so horrific for them being trapped in the mask. So I wanted to show a bit of um, constraint of some sort, but also wanting to escape. So I put, I actually put the mask directly through the canvas and pushed, pushed it through and attached it that way. And then that's why I, I just put loads of expressive paint colours over it and just let the expressions out on the canvas and the, and the mask. And then they added light to, to show the, what, the way they wanted to escape like, and, and the good side of what happens after radiotherapy about obviously the healing side of it, it that's the kind of definition for me. When I returned to college and began thinking about what I was going to do with the mask, the thing I think that was important to me was not to make something not to make something gimmicky. I wanted to make something that encapsulated my experience of the conference. The common characteristic with everybody I spoke to at the conference was they almost seemed, although they'd been through horrendous um, treatment and you know tough times, they all seemed emboldened by it. They all wanted to um, give back to Chris's charity and um, try and make the experiences of the next patients better. And I wanted, to, I wanted to represent that some way in the mask. So the, the actual poem I found, it's a, well, it says, um, she wore her troubled past like scars. She'd been through battle, and, then, and though no one could see her demons, they could see the face that conquered them. And what I wanted to do was bring out the identity of the person who the mask was made for, um, sort of define the features a little, little more, and just bring the face of the person out and say, this is the person that um, conquered um, the thing that tried to kill her and I think it's um, that's what it's I always keep it quite simple really I wanted it to just be you know I didn't want too many colours I didn't want anything like that I just wanted it to be I wanted to speak for itself really I think the words are the most important thing Everyone in my class, everyone in my like unit at uni has asked what it is and, they, and I've explained it to them. It's just passing on that little bits of information to see what people actually go through. Because before I came to this conference, I knew nothing about radi radiotherapy and I've heard of people having it and I've heard of people in my family having it, but they never explain the gritty detail of how, how bad it actually is because probably they don't want to upset people. But it's, it, you kind of need to know um, what it is like. Mm -hmm.